Women belong in motorsport. Whether you like it or not, drivers like Maria Teresa de Filippis, Lela Lombardi, Michel Mouton or Danica Patrick have shown that gender doesn't have to matter when it comes to racing on track. Right now, there is a new wave of female drivers coming up in all sorts of categories, and successful ones too, like Sophia Flersch, Lilu Wadu and of course, Jamie Chadwick. <laughs> Nestled in amongst those names is an 18-year-old girl called Dorian Pan. And I think that right now, she has a great chance of becoming the new inspiration for women in motorsport. Let's talk a bit about the pocket rocket, shall we? Born in a commune of Paris, Pound began karting at the age of 9 and started racing in the French Championship in 2016. Having taken a year to get used to the environment of racing in one of the most competitive national karting series on earth, she finished 10th overall in 2017 and 5th the following year, before dominating the French Championship in the female only category in 2019. These performances, paired with a couple of impressive test days in a single-seater car at the Winfield Racing School, set Dorian up to be chosen as one of the participants of the FIA Girls on Track Rising Stars program. She did well, actually extremely well, being picked as one of the four girls who could win a place in the Ferrari Driver Academy. Though the judges ultimately chose Maya Vogue, who later stated that Ferrari were crucial for giving her the chance to race in Formula 4, Pa had nonetheless proven her ability as one of the most promising female talents out there. By this stage, she had already partaken in a few rounds of the Renault Clio Cup France, I don't want to imagine how many engine failures per race they have there, which would be useful as Pa would move into the Le Mans Cup the following year, driving for Iron Lynx in the GT3 class. It was a tough season, with Pa ending up 5th in the driver's standings, although competing in her first full year of car racing against drivers of the calibre of Logan Sargent and Julian Andlauer, she did a respectable job, scoring podiums in every race the team finished. Pa also raced in two rounds of the GT World Challenge, and she would team up with the Scuderia Nikki Hassler outfit for the season finale in the Ferrari Challenge Europe, setting her up for a full-time campaign in 2022. And this is the year where the Pocket Rocket would finally show what she was capable of. But before we dive into her results from this season, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. Talking about her success in the Ferrari Challenge would be like talking about Max Verstappen's success in this year's F1 season. As Pau won 9 out of 14 races, scored 10 pole positions and only missed out on the podium once. And, as you would have guessed, she took the title with two races to spare. That said, the Ferrari Challenge grid isn't exactly filled with future stars of the sport, so the other competitions Pa raced in will have shown a more accurate picture of where she is as a driver. She made a one-off appearance in the World Endurance Championship at Spa, doing a respectable job as a late replacement for Michelle Gatting, and Spa would prove to be a happy hunting ground for Dorian, as she took a class victory in the 24 hours of Spa for the amazing Iron Dames team. Finally, her true moment of glory came in the European Le Mans series, where she completed the second half of the season for the Iron Dames. After a retirement in Barcelona, where an LMP3 car ended their race on the first lap, before Pa could even drive the car, the number 83 Ferrari took its first podium of the year at Spa, with Dorian being particularly impressive, scoring the fastest lap and putting in an immense stint to make the podium possible. She was even in the lead when she ended her stint. With positive momentum now behind them going into the season finale, the Iron Dames set pole and drove a flawless race. Pa, Bovi and Gatting took victory at the 4 hours of Portimao, scoring the first ever win for the squad in the ELMS, which put the team third in the standings, higher than the male team of the Iron Lynx outfit. This kind of season thankfully did not go unnoticed, as Dorian has since taken part in the rookie test organised by the World Endurance Championship in an LMP2 car, and she is currently rumoured to be driving in the WEC for the 2023 season. For years, fans have yearned for a female talent like this to receive a chance on a global stage. For years, many men, including some former F1 legends, have said that women couldn't compete with men at the top of the best championships in the world. But now in 2022, Dorian Pan, at the tender age of 18, is proving that you don't have to separate women from men in order for them to achieve success. Because with her amazing drives and her ever-growing number of accolades, she is proving that women belong in motorsport.
Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!